So when, when the leader focuses on the quality, then the quantity can follow. Now, it still doesn't mean just it, because the quantity is like a slow growth or maybe a flat line, it doesn't mean that there's not quality there. Okay, The Bible makes it really clear that it's God who gives the increase. Paul talked about that. He said some people will sow the seed, some people water the seed, some people will harvest it. But he says, but it's God who makes everything grow. Okay, So we, our job as leaders in a church community is to focus on the quality and let God take care of the quantity. Okay, We have to be asking the questions, am I doing it the best that I can do it? Am I using, that's why I talked about earlier, and I said you have gifts and talents and abilities that nobody else has. That's what you have to ask. Am I using my talents, am I investing them the best way that I can? Am I taking the talents that God has put into me and growing them so that they're becoming God-honoring strengths? And if they are, then I'm bringing the quality to the table, and then God can take care of the quantity. Does that make sense? Okay. So we just have to, the, there's some times that you're going to have to say to people, can we just step back for a second? Why, why are we measuring things that way? Why, why are we talking in, those, in that language? Is it biblical language? Now, you're going to get some people, and you're going to have to be prepared for this. You know, there's going to be people, I, I hear this from pastors frequently. I, it's a lame joke, you know, but they, they try to use this to make their case. Well, there's a book in the Bible called Numbers. So clearly God is concerned about numbers. Okay. The people that say that really haven't read the book of Numbers to understand what was going on. We were counting, they were counting people again, basically to make sure that everybody over the age of 40 had died. Okay, remember the story? The people were supposed to go into the promised land and they disobeyed. And so God said, everybody over the age of 40 is going to die, except for Joshua and Caleb. Those are going to be the only two people. That's the only reason why they did the survey in the book of Numbers again, is to say, did everybody that's over the age of 40 die? Because now we're ready to go ahead. Okay. We can also say David got in big trouble with God when he said, hey, let me count and see how many people that I have that could be in the army. Man, I'm gonna I'm a big shot now. Let's let's count all of these people. God said, No. I'm are are you basing your success on how many people you have, or are you basing your success on the fact that you rely on me, God saying, and I'm giving you the success? So we got to be very careful about you know throwing some of those numbers around. So oh, time out, let's let's examine where this is going to go. Okay. Now